Hey everyone, it's Bob the BA, and I'm gonna start off with an apology. I have not been posting videos as often as I said I would. I did say I'd try to get them out there every one to two days, and I haven't done that. And I have a good 14 videos all queued up, and they've been sitting there all week long. And so here's the deal. Uh, I've gotten in a rut. I've been dealing with some new life decisions, uh, some bad news. Uh, some good news, and all of it has just made my motivation go in the toilet. And it's frustrating because I've kind of lost sight of what I've wanted to do and what I'm trying to do. And so the first thing I want to say is, you know, I apologize. Secondly, thing I want to say is thank you for your support because I know in the end you guys actually aren't asking for anything. You're not asking or asking for much. You're just looking for some stories for me to tell the truth as I know it. Um, but I've been second guessing everything I've, I've done. In fact, I've recorded this video four times now and I'm not going to do it again. No matter what I forget or what I don't say, I don't want it to be scripted. I don't want it to be rehearsed. And I don't think anyone wants that. They want something that's in the moment of what's coming out of my mouth. And second guessing myself is something I'm not accustomed to, but I think everything I've been going through has thrust me into this mindset of what if I say the wrong thing? What if it's not perfect? What if I give bad advice? You know what? I'm not really giving advice that much here. I'm giving information and that way you can make decisions. So I need to let it go. And I also need to let go of the fact that I don't think anyone is expecting that much. Um, so I shouldn't get hung up on it, but it's hard. And, you know, the Kubler-Ross thing is coming back. You know, just because you got out of denial before doesn't mean you're going back into denial again. Just because you thought you were done being angry doesn't mean you're going to be angry again. And this is true, of course, of Paul and other friends and, you know, the cycle continues. So we have to find ways to get out of this rut. We have to find ways of accepting you know, what we're trying to do so we can move forward. And it hasn't been easy. So uh, some of this will be evident in a few videos coming up. But one of the things I needed to do was create a process that I couldn't break. And if I did break it, then it wasn't worth doing to begin with, you know, and I should stop all of this. But I don't think that's the case. I, I now have a process uh, that I'm going to follow to ensure that I can be consistent in the moment and not held my uh, not held not held not held myself not hold myself to standards uh, that I don't need to hold myself to. And again, I know that you guys are forgiving and supporting. You know, I've had a few people reach out to me and they said, "Bob, you know, the message is great. Just keep in mind, you don't have to be that positive all the time." And I'm going to let you know, trust me, I know that. <laughs> I mean, my goal is to live as positively as I can, but I'm still going to go through all the other crap. And some of it you'll get to see and some of you won't. Uh, some of it will be personal and I won't be that vulnerable. Some of it I will be vulnerable. And, you know, I think a lot of people think I'm the king of vulnerability. I'll say anything. I'll share everything. I won't. I have stories that would curl your toes. You don't need to hear those. Uh, I'll, I'll tell as much as I feel comfortable with, like anyone should, right? And in some cases, you know, it will still be too much information for people. I had that feedback once after a keynote. Uh, the, the feedback was, Bob, and it was in person. <laughs> it was a brave person, which I thought was awesome. They said, you know, maybe too much information for Canada. <laughs> now you know where I was when I got the feedback. And I was like, nah. <laughs> um, it, it's a hard thing to measure. So anyway, I'm I'm hopefully out of the rut at this point. I'm not going to re-record this again. I'm just going to move forward. So here's the thing: How do you get out of a rut? How do you decide to break the mold, the patterns? You know, and for me, it's always been about singing, and it's always been about music. And you know, my brain started scouring through songs. You know, what song is going to get me out of my rut? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, turtles in a half shell, turtle power. Yeah, that's not going to do it. And I watched a show that wasn't doing it. I watched a movie and that didn't do it. And it's still, it's going to come back to music and singing. 
So there's this song that finally popped into my head that I remember for me is Absolute Joy. And it's a song that's a bit of a retro crooner meets pop song meets country song called Miss Chatelaine. And it's about first love, first occurrence, you know, your eyes connect, that kind of thing. And everything about it, I think, is joyous and, and fun. Those, you know, if you remember those intimate moments of, you know, first love, that crush, that connection. So it's by an artist by the name of Katie Lang. I'm sure some of you know the song. I'm sure many of you know the artist. And if those of you who don't on either, Katie Lang was, um, she's been known for a couple of things. One, she came out in a time that was very not a cool time to do it, according to the world. So it was very controversial. But she was also uh, one of the first artists, if not the first legitimately, to completely cross over from country to pop. And it was a huge, oh my goodness, you know, she had won all these, you know, awards for country music and out of nowhere said, nope, I'm not going to do country anymore. I'm going to be this pop artist. And it was highly successful. And she's an amazing singer. She's got one of the purest voices you'll ever hear. And the song is on an album called Ingenue, which was from that original crossover album. And it's easily one of the, you know, top 200 kind of of all time albums because every song on it is perfect. And those are hard to find these days, finding an album where every song is magic. So I'm gonna sing a little bit of this song because it makes me very happy. And if you're enticed to, go check out the original version or catch out the video, the video is hysterical. Very <clears throat> not her, that was my intent. Uh, so Miss Chatelaine, let's get happy. <clears throat> Just a kiss, just a kiss, I have lived just for this. I can't explain why I become Miss Chatelaine every time your eyes meet mine. Clouds of qualm burst into sunshine. Oh, just a smile, just a smile. Hold me captive just a while. I can't explain why I become Miss Chatelaine. Miss Chatelaine, Miss Chatelaine. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're moving forward. We've got a new process. We're going to get out of the rut. We're going to be positive as best we can. We're still going to deal with all the crap that comes along. And we're going to see where this goes. Thank you for your support. I approve this message.